Yo guys, what's going on? Robert Warshak here. And we're going to be conquering Duskwood here right after West Ball, which shouldn't be too bad for you guys. The first boss is going to be a bit uh, super easy. Just cheese her on the left. Don't worry about the right. Send your good units in and pay attention to your base in case she decides to push a lot on the right side. But most of the time she doesn't as soon as you start pushing left. I, I would have put the... I didn't... Also, I didn't realize that you could put skeletons anywhere on the map. I had no idea. I need to send him out immediately too. Come on, come on, come on. Get there first, Baron. Get there first. Oh my god, it worked. So Baron goes in, immediately starts getting hit, right? And then this comes out. This comes out. This comes out. The cheese, boys. Actual cheese. And then these guys are winding up here. This is it. This is it. Big hits. Another Baron is out. I need to find more cheese. There it is. There it is. There it is. Two mana, summon dudes. Summon dudes. Fuck my base. Summon dudes. More dudes. Dudes, dudes, go. Go, 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 go. Race. It's a base race. Go. Yeah. Dude, that Baron out front, bro. That guy is fucking swift, man. That guy is fast. The next boss is going to be more. I remember killing her in Duskwood many, many years ago for a quest by the graveyard. But anyway, in this one, the left side looks good. It feels good. It's not good. Just go ahead, push right. There's no turret to bother you. You can cheese right in. If you have a pretty fast unit or some flyers, those are ideal. And then you go ahead and blizzard, chain lightning, or execute if you have those to finish her, finish her off after your two tanks dies and uh, your air support unit. If it's ever ignore the, the left and just push right, What happens if I do that? What if I just say go? I feel like the right side, there's not much here, dude. You know what I'm saying? Come on, come on, summon, 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 summon. Come on, before they hit my guy, boom, they're all dead. Oh my God, huge. Look at this. All right, cheesing, cheesing. Wait for, wait for him to take aggro right here. Right here, my base is getting absolutely obliterated. I don't care. I don't care. Come on, I need I need the big girl. Oh. Dude, just cheese, bro. Oh my god, the cheese, bro. Why play the game? Just cheese. So this next boss, Morbent Fell, is a little bit more difficult because his shield is super obnoxious, which means when you start attacking him, you want to attack him for as long as possible before he builds a new shield. So what I learned on this one was you kind of want both lanes and to be putting light pressure on both lanes. Wait till you get like a decent push on those, and then you would use that turret spot at the top to then start like basically converging all of them on one uh, also make sure you're using your gold guys to kind of like farm up some extra gold to allow you to make that big push because again getting through that shield but having to deal with the bombs this early is quite difficult so if you have harpies harpies are really great ways of dealing with abominations milk fast milk hard boys can i join the prestigious dudes guild you can as there said someone joined i have to look unless it was azur who joined All right, we kept losing on this mission. We'll see. We will see. I mean, right now we're kind of juicing. Oh, dude, I, I barely did anything. Now he's going to get his shield back. I mean, this charge up, come on. All right, it did a little bit. I'll take a little bit. All right, we're going to wait. Put Baron, like, way back here. Harvest Golem's pretty damn slow, so I'll put him back there. All right. So this, that we have like a massive amount of offense right now. We have big offense right now. And then he blizzards. Like he, dude, look. All my, all my guys are dead, dude. It's fucking crazy, dude. Now I gotta play D. 
I mean, I got the boss down to half. I mean, that's better than what I was doing before. All right. Abomination on the right. I guess I'll move that. Send the gold guy over there. The left. Something like that. Wait for this to start attacking. Wait. Oh my god. No, I didn't realize he had a chain. Dude, that guy is so good, dude. This guy is so good. Oh fuck, I forgot I had 10 mana. My base can suck this up. Look at this. Oh my god, the cleave. The cleave, bro. I don't even want to put this out there now. Yep, all my offense has just been ruined. My base is now half health. Oh, she's like kind of dying. Ish. She's like closer than I've ever been. I'll wait for another big push. All right, this is the big push right here, boys. Of course, instantly abominations down with the meats. With the fucking meats, bro. Gold overtime. So this goes like right here. This takes a while. Alright. Alright. I just make a giant push left. All right, we're all converging right here. All right, this is my move, boys. This is it. This is the move. Come on. Pump. Pump. Skeletons. Rocket lady, come on. Come on, 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 come on. Yes! We finally fucking beat it. Jesus. Dude, that took way too long. All right, Blind Mary. So the next one's gonna be Blind Mary. She was super easy. I thought it'd be more difficult. I basically just sent a force right side. It took the Hearthstone and then it just started attacking her and I was surprised to defeat her so easily. Granted, the one before this was so much harder. So Blind Mary should be easy for you. Push right side, don't worry about left. Oh, I forgot to check the guild again. God damn it. Remind me after this one, I have to check the guild. All right, there's an upper and a lower deck. Upper deck has the, oh, this looks like a really short map. All right. Um, bro, this guy's already mining. Get the fuck out of here, dude. What do you mean you're already mining, bro? This guy's already mining. This guy's going underneath. My base is at half health already, but I don't really care. So I'm gonna put this guy back here and this goes like here. Oh, actually I lied. Now it has to do that. Dude, Baron over here fucking clapping goddamn cheeks. Did I just win already? That's game. Yeah, why was that one so hard? So what I did here on Abercrombie was a little bit different. I pushed right side to take the tower. Once I got the tower, I completely ignored the tower and then just sent a big push left side. And so while the boss was sending units to take the tower that it just lost, it ended up not putting anything on the left side to defend him. This was one of the easier guys. I don't know if that was just like a cheese strategy that ended up working. Like it didn't expect to take the tower and then just not defend it. But yeah, as you can see in the next part, like it was, it was not hard. 
All right, let's continue the campaign. keeps telling me Warshack Rumble has crashed over and over and over on my phone. What the hell? We need Abomination? Dude, that card is it, 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 pretty good, dude. I think I'm going to go right side. Alright. Juicy Rush right. It's the Juicy Rush right, boys. Come on, Baron. There it is. What is this? I don't know what this does. What the fuck? A juicer came out. <laughs> what do you mean a juicer came out? Bro, what the fuck? All right, boys, we're winning on the left. Fuck the tower. Left is the move, boys. Left is the move. There it is. This is game. We're going to do it. Big damage to the boss. Game. I need went the meat wagon. It provides AOE range backup for Baron. I, I don't think meat wagon has ever been an option for me. I don't think the wagon was ever available. What is this? 